everybody. Today we're having tea with our special guest, the queen. Leslie Jordan, I have a queen of my own and she's real, not like your imaginary queen. This is actually Queenie and she's my beautiful kitty cat. <laughs> Look how uncomfortable she is and biting me. Oh my gosh, I guess she doesn't feel like having tea. Um, oh, there she goes. But I'll make her have tea with me whether she likes it or not. Anyways, um, I love my kitty cat. I adopted her five years ago. Everyone should adopt a pet if you have the means to do it because it's really a rewarding experience and you're saving a life. And I think that if you've been thinking about it and you can do it, you should. So today I'm having some chamomile tea. Thank you. And I've just baked again. If you saw my Instagram, you know that I baked some blueberry scones a couple weeks ago and they turned out so delicious that I baked them again. They're so good. I put extra blueberries in this batch. Can you tell? Look how many blueberries are in there. Um, I'm not gonna eat it right now because I'm talking to you and I already ate one, so only one a day, maybe two. I'm not sure yet. Anyway, so what I wanna really talk to you guys about is that during this quarantine, something really special for me happened under kind of poor circumstances, I guess. Um, I am obsessed with hummingbirds. I always have been. I think they're the most miraculous little beings ever. And they just really inspire so much love, joy, and happiness in my heart. So what happened was a little hummingbird came and flew into this window right here behind me. And I heard the thud. I didn't know what happened. I didn't see anything. So I went outside and this poor little hummingbird was on the ground outside. It had crashed and I think it had knocked itself unconscious. So I went out there and I called for Alex and I said, come out and he brought his phone luckily for me. So I picked up this little hummingbird and put it in my hands, or maybe only I had it in one hand. I have some photos and it was so sweet. His tiny, tiny little feet, his little claws were like holding on to my skin. It was really a wonderful moment. So it was almost like this very meditative, beautiful kind of divine experience that I got to have holding this hummingbird. And it has a happy ending. The hummingbird came back to consciousness and he ended up being okay enough to fly away out of my hand. And um, yeah, it was just so meaningful to me because I've always loved hummingbirds so much and I actually got to hold one in my hands. I mean, what a rare experience and I'm so lucky that I got to have it, although I'm very sorry that he had to get a concussion to come and sit in my hands. But anyways, I love hummingbirds so much. Happy tea, y'all.